conversion therapy. So Joel went to kindergarten and was doing great in class um, until halfway through the year when they started putting letters together to make words. Um, Joel couldn't do it. He would know the sounds, he knew the letters, but he couldn't read any word. He would try to get there and then he'd forget and have to go back and couldn't remember and just fell off the turnip truck. So we'd already had him tested at a different place for his vision, um, but came here and realized what his diagnosis really was and started coming to vision therapy. Um, and before kindergarten was over, he could get some words put together. Um, so he was also on a soccer team. Um, and we just thought he just wasn't athletic because he couldn't kick the ball. Time he'd get there, he'd miss it. He'd always miss it. And our heart just broke for him. Well, then we found out why he couldn't kick the ball. <laughs> he couldn't see the ball or it, what version of the ball he was seeing. He, he was kicking the wrong one. So life was a struggle for him and he didn't know why. Um, but once we came to vision therapy and he was diagnosed, um, it became clear what his struggles were. So. An hour away from the center. Um, so we left school every Monday early. Um, and we drove an hour and had an intense hour of therapy, and then you drive an hour home, um, and then you have therapy every single day. So it's not easy. And there were lots of emotional struggles of, Joel, you have to do this therapy before you can do anything else. And so sometimes therapy would take us 20 minutes, sometimes therapy would take us an hour and a half with him. Um, and we weren't perfect, not every night did we get everything done, um, but he was diligent. Um, he loved his uh, doctor, or his therapist here, um, Miss Gretchen, and so he um, really loved coming and seeing her every week. Um, he really loved the prize box at the end of his difficult therapy session, um, but there was great progress, and he saw progress. So those words on the page became easier for him to see, and so even though in his tiny six-year-old mind he couldn't put all of that together, it came together. Um, so we had like eight months of therapy, and then he graduated, and it was a big, big celebration in our, in our household. He is now in second grade. Um, he has a passion for reading. Um, I, I, I truly believe he is, his vision, uh, I shouldn't say true, I truly believe he would not be where he is today if he had not gone through his therapy. I'm not positive he won't have repeat therapy in years to come. Um, but he can read, he has a passion for reading. He now plays tennis. Um, he can actually hit the tennis ball, um, is loving to learn how to play sports because he can actually participate in them. They're not completely easy and they don't come naturally as they might for other children, but he knows his handicaps and he knows how to overcome them. And I think that is the biggest tool in his toolbox is that he knows his problem and he knows now some weapons to be able to combat that and so he tries hard and he succeeds and and having some successes just encourages him to to keep going so we still remind him and we still do exercises at home um, we will still come back we're here for a recheck um, so it's it's good and it's it's never going to be completely 100% whole because this is what he has um, but we were learning and he's learning how to live with it and overcome life after therapy is still difficult, um, but so much better. Um, and we're very, very thankful for our experience, and we're thankful that we can still keep coming back when, when we need to.